this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Pokemon Moon. Things are rather exciting at the moment because I'm about to leave the, the first island. I can't remember how many islands there were. <laughs> is, that our, is that our boat? Looks like our boat has seen better days. It might have uh, one or two holes in, but as long as it gets us to the, uh, the next island, that's all that matters. Hey, Professor, are you sure this old thing's really seaworthy? Hey, don't you want to go calling my boat that? She's not too old. Cooler, classic, well seasoned, yeah? I quite like that it has a sense of history. Pew -ee 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 -ee. Hey, Stampy! If you're all done catching Pokemon and shopping, yeah? Do you want to go and head out with us? Oh, yeah! Time to sail away! Right, well, looks like uh, we are wasting no time today. The episode's barely begun, and we're already setting sail. Over the, uh, <laughs> over the orange soda. We are off! <laughs> this is cool then, so island number two. This is gonna be cool, so it's basically just gonna be a, a whole new area to explore because I pretty much explored everywhere in the, um, on the old island. Like, I flew, I went, I didn't fly around, I ran around with, uh, with Taurus, and, um, <laughs> he's just saying about her hat uh, falling off, by the way. Hey, yeah, so I rode around with, uh, with Taurus, and, um, uh, I found as many of the, the secret items as I, as I could find, so I kind of really feel like I looked absolutely everywhere in the, the last island. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, to finding someone somewhere new. Isn't this just the best, Stampy? Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, so we're about to, to go and see the new place, and whoa! Look at that, is that where we're heading to? It looks like there's a much bigger city in the, the new place we're heading to. One of the first things I want to do is I want to get a new haircut because <laughs> I got my haircut last time and I've not been happy with it, but it cost me so much money I felt bad if I immediately uh, immediately switched. So yeah, it definitely seems like we are heading to a, a bigger island. So this is the uh, uh, Akala Island. So uh, yeah, we're moving there. It looks like this, is that like a, a volcano or like a big mountain? by the looks of the things that are on this mountain. And uh, yeah, I'm going to need to do a, a new island challenge as well over here and see if I can go and uh, complete some of uh, the new trials, uh, which are going to be here. But it looks like we're at here, here city, I think. We are here, here. <laughs> we have uh, arrived. Land ahoy! All right, Akala Island, here I come! Isn't it a bit late to declare land ahoy after you've already arrived on shore? What a stick in the sand! Help me out here, Stampy! It was funny, right? Uh, it was supposed to be funny? <laughs> He's not happy with me, is he? What about you, Professor? The land is certainly a hoy, old boy! Pew, you, 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 you! <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be in the bag, Nebby? Still haven't managed to find a shirt that goes with your lab coat, hmm, Kukui? Huh? I've told you, you're gonna scare off strangers looking like that. Nebby, quick, back in the bag. Ah, don't sweat it, Lily. Why, hello there. Nice to meet you all. I am Olivia. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm Mallow, one of the captains here. I was on my way to see who was pulling into port and ran into Mallow here while she was out on delivery. Yep, my trial will be a chance for all the fine ingredients that make up your team to shine. Especially you two, your Pokemon look really ready to cook with gas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Mallow isn't the only captain on the island Kerkala, uh, island after all. So, What's the plan, kids? Yeah, that's up to these kids. It's their island challenge after all. Yes, I suppose so. Okay then, enjoy your time on the island challenge, kids, along with your Pokemon. I'll be waiting for my chance to face you in battle when the time comes. I'm looking forward to seeing what you've got. Let's go, Mallow. So who are the so are those like the um kind of the the trainers that I'm gonna be kind of up against in the trials then? I'm sure she wanted to come to see that you made it here, all right. But she'll never admit it. Ha <laughs> ha! That's Olivia for you. She's kind of uh she's a kind Kahuna deep down. 
There are three trials here on Kalala. If you two decide you want to take on the trial straight away, head up Route 4 there and keep going until you're at Panilola Town. Shoot! I know where I'm going first, and that's straight to the Pokemon Center! I wonder what kind of malasada they are making here in Kakala. Maybe I'll see about doing some shopping of my own, and I should find out about the ruins for Nebby's sake too. And I'll stand about speaking to Rotom then. Bzzz. You've made it to Akala, big boy. This means the whole new island Pokedex. I'll try and keep you up to date on all the new Pokemon you uncover, Stampy. Okay, thank you very much. Right then, so we are in a Hia Hia City. Hia Hia. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna keep making the joke. <laughs> Do you like it? Hia Hia. All uh, right, what's this? Oh, this is like um. That's like the uh, the the boat port, so we don't need to, to really worry about that. So are they gonna just let me explore now? I'm hoping that they stop talking to me a little bit <laughs> because I don't know. Like when I think of Pokemon games, I kind of think of just setting off by yourself and just exploring and trying to become like the champion. But in this game, like it keeps just telling me what to do. Like do this, go here, go this way, and I kind of want it to. Um... Oh, it's gonna rate the nickname. Oh, it's gonna let me um. Give new nicknames. That would be cool. Yeah, I kind of want them just to to allow me to be set free, just to, to do things my way. And by the sounds of it, it sounds like they are letting me do that. Hmm. T is it? You picked a fine nickname, but I think we could give it something even better. Oh look, here we go. I can go and get a, a new nickname. So this is for my uh, this is for my cutie fly, which I accidentally named T. So I got a I got a new name, and it's a better name. I am gonna call it. Bear with me here. Oh, what's, what did it do? Why does it keep doing that? No, that's, that's the same, no, change the nickname. I don't know what, I honestly, I promise you, you won't believe me here. I promise you, I didn't press a button. Like this is what happened before. Remember I was trying to, I was trying to give a nickname to Diglett as well. And then it just went, okay. And then just like accepted it. I don't know if it, I don't know what's going, what's going on with that. It's weird, like nothing else is mucking up in the game. It's only when I'm giving nicknames. So let's be super duper 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 careful. Right, I, I'm gonna call it Butter. <laughs> That's what I've decided. I'm gonna call it Butter. Don't don't ask me why, but I just think calling it Butter, spelt Butter, is just gonna be a funny name. So from now on, my tea is called Butter. All right, well, what is this? Uh, what is the shop then? Oh, is this all like touristy things? Okay, looks like there's not actually anything for me to buy here, but I need to remember that. And whenever I want to come back and give uh, any new Pokemon nicknames, I'm gonna know where I need to go. And oh no, nope, it looks like <laughs> it looks like they they're not taking my lead off. It looks like they're gonna keep guiding me through. Oh, Stampy! Pew. Uh, you looking for the ruins? Looking for new clothes? What about the ruins? That's kind of the more important thing. Yes, this little fellow will hardly sit still. I think Nebby might be interested in visiting the ruins of life. Apparently, they house a sacred guardian of Akala Island, a creature from Tapu Lele. I wonder if you would like to come with us when we go to visit the ruins. I mean, little Nebby here seems to like you quite a bit, Stampy. I'll be at Tide Song Hotel if you decide you want to come. I'm supposed to be meeting someone there. Someone very important to me. Whoa, look at the size of that hotel. I'll be all right. I can see the building from here after all. Even I shouldn't be able to lose my way, I think. And you, I'll have you stay in your bag, mister. <laughs> I don't think it wants to go in the bag. <laughs> I don't see why it's that big of a deal. Let it, let it chill out. Come, let it hang around. I can protect it. Okay, I guess it's uh, I guess it's not going back in the the bag right now. Oh no, it did, it did. It finally listened. Do you see the size of that hotel though? I wonder, are we staying there as well? Not too, not too shabby if we are. I've heard that there is a group of terrible people around who try to steal Pokemon. They're called Team Skull. We need to be careful if we want to escape the notice of such a collection of villains. Isn't that right, Stampy? <laughs> Team Skull? Team Skull? Team Skull? Team Numskull more like. <laughs> They're rubbish! I have destroyed Team Skull again and again and again. I am not worried about them whatsoever. Sorry, but my Stoutland is a real, uh, is a real thorough kind and likes to uncover every last stone. Could you take another route until we have uncovered all of the hidden items here? Murmur, murmur. 
Is this just their, their reason for- Why do they keep blocking- I know, I know, I heard you the first time. I don't like the fact they keep blocking you off. Like, there was a little bit of that in the old Pokemon games, but, like, like I kind of just said, I liked it when they just said, right, you've left home, go and become the Pokemon champion. But now, I can only take five steps without someone coming and, like, chatting to me or telling me what to do. <laughs> and who are these jokers? Stop right there. Ah ha ha! We didn't mean to surprise you! You must be doing your island challenge! I am Dexio! And my name is Zena! A beautiful name for a beautiful lady! And we're here seeing the sights of Alola! It's unique traditional of island challenge! It's a pretty fascinating, it's pretty fascinating I've got to say! Oh, I've got an idea! Why don't you test your skills with me? Okay, let's get the show on the road! Who, who, are, who are these? <laughs> who are these jokers? Right, okay, let's go and, uh, let's go and, uh, put them through their paces then. Let's see if we can, uh, we can take them out. So, who have I got? I think I got Meow first. They're using Deli Bed. Oh, look at this guy! <laughs> let's go and see if we can take them out. So, alright, uh, I'm setting up Miss Stampy Cat. So, we're on a new island. So, I'm expecting tougher enemies. Oh, look, they are level 15. That's, uh, pretty much as high as, uh, most of my Pokemon as well. So, it does, uh, look like... Kind of, as you would expect, uh, the, the Pokemon are going to, to be stronger on this island. But it doesn't matter. It just means that I can go and, uh, and uh, hopefully fight harder and uh, be able to, to win. So let's go straight in and uh, try and use my uh, my Z power. I think Meowth should be fine to, to win this battle. Uh, but they do have another Pokemon, so we can probably switch around uh, afterwards and just kind of see who's effective. But first, uh, let's just go and uh, charge down with this ridiculously ridiculously overpowered looking move. But actually not that... <laughs> Not that strong of a, of a move. All right, so let's go and try and get a, a good solid hit in. Uh, and then uh, I reckon hopefully just a, a bite or something uh, should be enough to finish them off. Oh, what's that? Oh, it gave me a present. Uh, it doesn't affect me. Oh, it does affect me. It made me all excited. <laughs> it just gave just for a random present at me. All right, what does what does bite do? Is that effective at all? Um, it wasn't, like, particularly effective, but it did did what it needed uh, to do. And that should be uh, Miss Stampy Cat uh, leveling up to, to level 18 as well. All right, then, let's see what they're going to use next. I wonder if they're going to use another one. A, um... Galaceon. That's got to be an ice Pokemon, doesn't it? So it's like Galacia, isn't it? So let, let's go and switch over to, to Poochie. I don't know what this Pokemon is. I think it's one that I don't know. But uh, I reckon it's probably going to be a nice one. So let's go and send out my uh, my Poochie. Oh, oh, it's cute. It's a cute one. Look at those big, long, dangly ears. Or are they supposed to be ponytails? They kind of look like neckties. <laughs> All right, then. Let's uh, let's go straight in with an ember. Because if it, if it is a... um. Uh, an ice Pope uh, Pokemon, uh, then I should be able to do some decent damage. I also, um, I also equipped Growlithe with a, um, with a Quick Claw, uh, which basically means that there's a, a chance that he will attack first, even when he shouldn't, because uh, he hasn't actually got very good speed. I'm surprised. I looked through all of my Pokemon, and Pichu and, uh, and Growlithe had the, the worst speed. So, yeah, I knew I wanted uh, to give it to, to one of them, so I ended up giving it to, to Growlithe. It's one of the um, uh, the items that I got, like, ages ago. I think I got it from the, the school. And I got another bunch of other items as well, just from exploring the, the island. So if you are playing the game, I do recommend exploring all of the, the first island with Taurus and kind of finding all of the, the secret things. And, oh, Flame Wheel. Yes, I do want to learn Flame Wheel. Let's get rid of Leer, because I don't think I'm ever going to use that. That's all right. One, two, and poof. Uh, Leer is forgotten, and I've learned Flame Wheel. Hopefully it's more powerful than Ember, because Ember's okay. It doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but it can burn them. And so that's kind of why I like using uh, that. But yeah, having just a, a more powerful Flame Move is, of course, going to be very useful. I get it! Facing trials helps you grow close to your team! I think that's absolutely wonderful! I feel like I've been able to have a glimpse of the island challenge! Let me heal your Pokemon as thanks. Okay, I like that. I do like the addition of everyone just healing your Pokemon all the time. You and your Pokemon are the ultimate team! No doubt about it! This battle reminded me of us in the past and the group of five young trainers. I've made up my mind. I'll entrust this important item to you! Are, th are these from an old game then? I, I I reckon I can't remember them. I don't know who they are, but I reckon that they're um they're like from a past Pokemon game. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you know who these mystery people are? Because they said they're on holiday as well, so it would make uh, kind of perfect sense if they were from like a, a previous uh, Pokemon game. All right, let's go for a wonder bit. Let's go and try and let's go and try and find some some more Pokemon. So I know I need to go to the hotel. That seems to be the the next place I need to to go to make my up to uh, make more up to the ruins. But first, let's see if we can find some of the uh, the the new Pokemon uh, that we can find on the the island, and let's see if we can go and battle some of the Bell Boys as well that are just. <laughs> <laughs> hanging out around the the front of the the hotel just attacking people all right then i recognize this pokemon i've not um 
either captured them before, but I do recognize them. Uh, level 14, so relatively strong. Definitely uh, kind of a, a step up from the, the last... Um, uh, the last island, as I would expect, but nothing, nothing too crazy. It's not like there's like a, a sudden jump up in um in difficulty. Oh no, I can't use that, can I? Oh no, I shouldn't have used that. And I think they're making them themselves more evasive now as well. So that's not going to be very useful. Hopefully, I can still do a bite. Actually, I think bite always hits. I think that bite is one of the attacks that never loses. And whoa, super effective as well. <laughs> can't complain about that. Yeah, let's let's go over and explore around the 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 side of the the hotel then uh, before we actually go and uh, and head on to the the inside then so uh, there seems to be a path around here what does the sign say trainer tips okay it's just talking about random tips yeah you can kind of see on the the map it seems like there's like um a whole area here the strange creature was sucked into the zygarde cube oh oh that was that cube that i just got Zena wants to talk to you Bzz. I just received a signal from your Zygarde cube. The creature that you just got sucked into the cube is what we call a Zygarde cell. The Zygarde cube I gave you is like a nest for your cells and cores. Your mission is to collect all of the cells and cores. We'll be in touch. Okay. <laughs> sure thing at all. You don't want to battle me? You know, these wildlings roots sometimes have secret little spots that are easy to overlook. Okay, well, thank you for, for letting me know. I do want to find some new Pokemon around here, but let's go and uh, try and battle some of these trainers first. <laughs> Look at that person there, eagle-eyed, ready to, to pounce on someone. <laughs> Just like looking left and right over and over again. Right then. Let's see what you have then. Oh, hello. Uh, Sightseer Scotty. Was that him just really, like, enthusiastically seeing the sights that were directly in front of him? And he's got a Rattata, really? Like, if you're walking around and your only Pokemon's a Rattata, I wouldn't be, like, randomly battling people. I'd keep it a secret. If my only Pokemon was a Rattata and someone came up to me and said to battle, I'd be like, oh, nope, sorry. I left all of my many Pokemon at home. It's embarrassing to only have a Rattata. And I've got nothing against Rattatas. It's just... I don't know. You'd expect to have <laughs> at least at least something a little bit more exotic, uh, as well as the the little purple rat, which is pretty much everyone's first Pokemon. And I'm sorry, Sightseer. Hopefully, I haven't ruined your um ruined your day. Right then, let's go into this grass. Then let's have a a bit of a of a look around in uh, in here, and uh, let's see um yeah let, let's see what there there is. Oh hello! What was that? Was that like an Igglypuff? Or was that like under Jigglypuff? Is that like the um the pre-evolve of that? Yes, and also oh, it's an iggly buff. <laughs> Should we see if we can capture it? Let's see if we can get ourselves an iggly buff then, shall we? Uh oh, I don't know if this is gonna be too powerful. I'm worried I might take it out. And oh, no, perfect. It wasn't very effective, which was uh was really good. Oh, it did. It did bring in a friend though. Well, it's calling for a friend. Does it have any friends? It does. It has a uh, a happini or a happy yeah, happini. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, let's go and try and take out the uh, the the happini, and then we're going to see if we can get the the eagly buff. Is bite going to be any good against it? Whoa. Okay. Uh, I definitely um did the right one. This 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 little thing is so unbelievably cute, isn't it? And it's using copycat as well. The puns overloaded is crazy. And it went and did the, the the bite move. Not very effective though, so we won't worry about that. Right then, let's um let's go to the bag then. Let's see if we can um let's see if we can capture it then. Let's go for a let's go for a great ball. Let, let, let's play it safe because uh, it uh, does have a, a little bit of health left. I always like to get it in the red. Like when trying to capture it, I like it so when their their health points are in the, the red, that just makes me feel you know, feel like it's almost guaranteed. But there we go. I was able to, to get it. I got myself an eagerly buff. I wonder if that does evolve into a Jigglypuff then. I don't know if I'm even going to use it. It just looked really cute, so I wanted it. So <laughs> it is now mine. Should we um? Should we give it a little name? Oh, look, it does have three evolutions, doesn't it? Maybe it does evolve into to Jigglypuff then, possibly. All uh, right, then. Let's, uh, let's give it a name then. I think I have the perfect name for this. And this will be a, a reference to, to one of my other Minecraft series. We'll see how many people recognize which one. But I am going to call it... Bonbon! Bon. This is my adorable little Bonbon. Bon. <laughs> there we go! I got myself a brand new Pokemon. I kind of want to use it now. Shall I add it to my party? Who who would I get rid of though? There's no one... Well, who do I use the least out of all of these? Um, I think it has to be Butter. 
Like, I, I never use butter, do I? <laughs> I never have butter on my toast. I never use butter. Even though I've just given it a new name. I'm sorry, butter! But I want to I want to have my bonbon with me. So you have been swapped out, and I'll now have bonbon. So bonbon isn't a um isn't a very high level yet, so I'm probably gonna have to, to level up a, a little bit uh, before I can really use it properly. Uh, so yeah, I will do that in the future. And are you are you gonna battle me? Hello? What did you not see me until your you turned your head a little bit? I was literally standing right right in front of you and he He's like, huh? Is anybody here? <laughs> What's this? The uh, cook uh, Ernie wants to, to battle me with his little pokeball in his uh, in his scoop, <laughs> in his ladle. Right then. Oh, he's got a cutie fly. Oh, you're just making me feel bad. I just got rid of my cutie fly, and he's like, look, isn't cutie fly amazing? <laughs> the thing is, I already got a flying Pokemon because I already have um. I've already got obviously my um my Bowie and Bowie's grass as well. So I just feel I just feel like overall it didn't make the most sense, you know, looking at my party as a whole. <laughs> and I don't know whether whether Eagly Buff, you know, is gonna be, you know, particularly better. But it just made a little bit more sense. But anyway, let's go and uh, let's go switch around to, to, to Poochie. And uh, yeah, let's try out my um that new that new flame attack what was it what was the the new attack i had called again uh, yeah let's uh, let's go and see what that does like it should hopefully be uh, enough to, uh, to to finish off this cutie fly so what's it called flame wheel um it has the the same amount of pp as the <laughs> pp as the <laughs> as the other move but let's see uh, let's see how much damage it does whoa it looks pretty impressive oh, i must do loads of damage there we go Maybe it does more damage, but it just doesn't have a chance to set them on fire. Maybe that's just kind of what the, the, the difference is. But there we go. I took out Chef Ernie, and it looks like... I've kind of arrived at where I was actually supposed to be heading to. Like, if you look on the map, you see the the flag. That's kind of telling me, you know, where I'm, uh, like, supposed to be heading to. So what I think I'm going to do in the next episode is I'm not going to go where I'm supposed to go. I'm going to go back to the hotel, see if I can chat to, to Lily, and uh, go and... um go and head up to the the ruins uh, just because i don't know there's got to be something up there like <laughs> we're heading up there for a reason after all so yeah i think i'm gonna go and, uh, and do that first and then i'm gonna come up to, to here and it seems like going up here i think maybe this leads to to route four and then this is going to be where i need to to go for my uh, yeah for my actual island challenge so let's uh, take out this uh, crabola uh, let's go and uh, grab all of the the berries and that's going to about do it for this episode so this is exciting times it's cool to have a an entire new island to uh, to be able to explore oh no miss stampy cat was taken out do you reckon I can use Bonbon? Bon? Do you reckon Bonbon bon will survive? It hasn't got very much health, does it? I should have probably healed it up. I love the way it just floats. And oh no! Crabola called for help. This isn't a good thing for um <laughs> for its first move. Oh no, no one appeared. It doesn't have any friends though. Right, do you reckon I've got any chance of finishing it off? What do I have? Um I really only have Pound that can attack it. What does Sweet Kiss do? I th I'm not sure what Sweet Kiss does, so let's uh, let's just go for a pound and let's see if there's. Okay, no worries. <laughs> no worries. A little bit too ambitious. Oh, sorry, little Bonbon. Bon. It's first. It's first battle, and it just immediately gets taken out. I'm sorry, little Bonbon. Bon. <laughs> but I'm sure uh, Diglett uh, can hopefully uh, come in and uh, finish up the battle. Oh, it's calling for help again. Is anyone going to show up this time? Has it, has it made any friends? Oh, it has made friends now. Right, let's uh, let's not worry about finishing this battle. Let's end this episode here. And as I said, in the, the next episode, I'm going to go and, um, uh, yeah, start off at the, the hotel and uh, speak to Lily, see if we can get to the, the ruins. And, yeah, just find out uh, everything that I can do on this uh, this island. Uh, uh, but as I said, that is the, the end of this episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. There will be a link in the description to the next episode once it's online, uh, as well as the, the playlist, which has all of my uh, Pokemon Moon uh, Let's Plays uh, all to together if you want to, to go and watch through them all. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!